In this video, we're going to look at how to connect to an API using basic authentication within Airtable. Most API documentation will have a section called authentication, which will specify how the API authenticates requests. For basic auth, we need to provide a username and a password. So we can see here for the Stripe authentication that we need to use our API key as the basic auth username, and we don't need to provide a password. So going back to Airtable, we need to click on the apps dashboard, then click add an app, and then search for data fetcher and install the data fetcher app. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted to sign up for a free account, or you can sign into your existing one. Then on the home screen, click create request and give your request a name. So I'm going to call mine fetch Stripe customers. Now this is the important part where we set up the basic auth. So on the authorization tab, for the type input, select basic, and then we're going to enter the username and password. Now this will vary depending on the particular API you're using, but for Stripe, we're going to copy the API key into the username and leave the password blank. We then need to set up the API URL and enter that into the URL input and then select the table and the view for the output. Finally, click Run and we can see that all these fields come back from the API. And if we click this Show Response, we can see the actual data that comes back. So I'm going to click filter all to get rid of all the fields and then re-add data ID, which is this ID on the left, the customer ID, and the data email. And we're going to call that email. So click confirm. Data fetcher will create the fields in your output table and then run the request again and import the data. So finally click save and close the app. And we can see that the data was imported using basic authentication.